start presenting to you guys. I want to make sure that you guys have opened your word problems from yesterday. What I've decided to do is I'm going to change it from short leg to long leg. 10 on the short triangle over X. What would be my first step? What would be my first step to do here after I solve this? Cross multiply. So we get 5X equals 1. 50. What do I do next? We're going to call this triangle 1. What would the setup be if I did short leg over long leg? Elena, go ahead. You would have to cross multiply. All right. If I cross multiply, 5x equals, I want to make sure we can set up our proportion. Now, if you notice, there's a triangle in the smaller and then there's two triangles in one shape. What is the short side? What is the long side? Go ahead. Break. Um, will be four over six and z over ten. Four over six and z over ten. ten. Okay. <laughs> It would be 2 over 6 equals x over 15. So when we cross multiply, what do we get? 6x equals 30. Are there any questions on these problems? Bright, go ahead. Um, if the 2 was in the... No, okay. If the 2 was in the denominator, would that still come as the same so if the two's in the denominator, the X has to be in the denominator also. Okay, number six. What am I going to highlight if I highlight this yellow? Now, 11 is green. What else is going to get highlighted green, Macy? M. M. All right, so now if I set up my little proportion, I can do seven as one problem and eight as another problem. In seven, what variable is it asking you to find in both of your problems? The reason why is because it's given data. So, question number seven, to find X, what would our proportion look like for number seven? Three over X and Eight over four. So you're absolutely right. Three over X and eight over four. You could also have it set up as X over three and four over X. Okay. I want to um, explain a little bit about this last one you're gonna set up yourself. This assignment is due at 3 p.m. today. Make the small shape, shape one and the big shape, shape two. Stay on afterwards. Oh. I'll answer your question in a little bit, okay? Right. Let me just see if anybody else has any, any questions. Is there any other questions for me today? If not, guys, have a great rest of your day, okay? All right, have a good day. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye, do your work, Bye. enjoy yourselves. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi, Lex. Bye, Lex. <laughs> Adios, Miss Wally. Adios, guys. Bye, Mrs. Wally. Have Bye. a great rest of your day. You too, Logan. I am homebounding a girl who has a severe infection in her, um, by her brain, and I didn't want to bring the flu around her when we got the flu. So I have actually been doing this for about a month and a half now. So she has really made me a champ at this. We've been sharing screens, we've been doing assignments. So I have a touch screen. I always love my touch screens. And I, had, um, I have the Smartboard notebook. And I use Smartboard every day in class. So I incorporated it and I've been transferring all my online lessons to my computer and I can write on my screen. Um, I want it the live action part of a lesson where I have the interaction with the kids on a daily basis. So I've been using what's called Buzz in Live. Um, it allows 150 participants at one time so the kids can buzz in. I can go down in order of who picked. I can pick who I, who I think hasn't participated but is down lower in the, in the ranks um, just so everybody can get 
be actively involved in the lessons. But when I'm presenting problems on my smart board notebook, um, the kids get to see it on their screen because I present it to them. And then I'll say, does anybody have any questions on this? Or what's the first step in setting this up? And they would, um, they'll buzz in on their computer and then I can see who wants to participate on my phone. I've been using my computer and my phone. I pre-planned with my kids a lot. That Monday that we went back to school, I sat with my kids and you know, I said, um, this is what we're gonna do. Um, I was a little hesitant, but I am going to say, I've had classes today, I had 87 kids in this class and it was phenomenal. They just, they're either watching, they're doing their lessons. Some wanna participate that can. I'm getting a lot of participation from different periods, different groups, and then again, I do it with my, um, honors class again and they've also been great also. I have 93 kids in my math 8 class but what I do is I record my lessons and so if I'm not getting participation through that the kids are getting it and I post it to my Google Classroom every day and the kids can watch the videos later because I have a lot of kids that um, and they'll email me um, if they can't make it and kids that are transporting from one house to another at this time um, because they need a babysitter and uh, they'll email me and I just tell them to watch the video later and they do and uh, most of the time I've been about 95% of my homework's been pretty much done throughout through this past week.